Hello guys, welcome to the first video of my series on exploring the YouTube Data API. So YouTube Data API is basically used to directly interact with the YouTube services through some API. So you can use it to upload videos, manage playlists or simply comment or like a video or you can also use it for searching for content. You can search for videos, channels, playlists and you can also refine those results with some cool filters. So this is all you can do with this YouTube Data API. But now the interesting part is that many functionalities which are not available directly on the YouTube website, they can also be achieved by using the YouTube Data API. So let me give you a few examples. So you can find the most disliked videos on a channel by using the YouTube Data API. Or you can also search for videos from the oldest to the newest. Like in the original website which is youtube.com, all you can do is you can just search for the videos from newest to oldest. But we can do the reverse as well by using the YouTube Data API. And this all we are going to see in this series. And since this is the first video, we are just going to learn how to um, get started how to get an API key so that we can use the YouTube Data API and what all dependencies that we need for using the YouTube Data API through the Python programming language. So without any delay, let's get started. Okay, so in order to use the YouTube Data API, you need to have some API key using which you can make requests to this particular API. And in order to create an API key, you need to have a Google Developers Console project. So in order to create that, you have to simply go to console.developers.google.com and there you have to simply create a new project. And as we can see here, here is a button for creating the new project. And I'm going to name my new project as YT API. And I'm just going to click on create. So my project is being created as we can see here. So as soon as my project will get created, I'll be able to um, do the further tasks. So I think it has got created. So let me just reload this page. And here we go. There is YT API. So this is my latest Google project that I have just created. And now I'm just going to search for YouTube data API version 3. So this is the API that we are going to need. So in order to use um, any API, you can use it only through a project. And in that project, you have to enable that particular API. So I'm just going to click on enable and it is enabling the API for my YT API project. So once that is done, um, now it is asking me to um, create credentials. So in order to use this API, I need to create some credentials. So I'm just going to click on credentials. And now here is a simple form which helps you to see what kind of credentials are you going to need. But I uh, already know that I need some API key. So I'm just going to click on API key and I have to give some name to my API key. So I'm just going to name YT API key. And also I can put some kind of restrictions over this API key. For example, um, I can use this API key only for accessing this particular API. So that thing I can do here by, do, uh, by selecting YouTube Data API version 3. So I, now I can use this particular API, YT API key, only for um, sending requests to the YouTube Data API version 3. And now I'm just going to click on Create. So here is my API key. I'm just going to copy it. So API key is equal to this. So I've got my API key now. So I think my work here is complete. So as you can see there, here is my API key and here is the actual key name. And I can always edit this API key. And if you just want to um, regenerate it, you can also regenerate it. So it will just um, create a new version of your API key so that you can also do which actually I'm going to do in this particular video. <laughs> so that's done. So now uh, what is the next thing that we're going to need? So you can use the Google API Python client for directly sending the request to the YouTube data API through some uh, already written functions. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a very simple pip command sudo pip install um, Google API Python client and that's it. So Google API Python client is actually a Python client for dealing with the Google APIs and we're going to use that for interacting with the YouTube data API as well. So I've already got that. So requirement is already satisfied. So now what you're going to do is um, from API client dot discovery import build. So build is actually a very interesting function which will simply create the um, resource object in the um, 
Google API Python client which can be used to interact with any Google API so let us see how you can create a YouTube resource for doing that you have to just do YouTube build um, you have to just name the API that you want to interact with so let's say I want to interact with the YouTube API so YouTube and you can also provide which version of the API you want to interact with I wanted to interact with version 3 and what is the developer key that is API underscore key so it's as simple as that and that is done so let us check what is actually YouTube which I've just named here so YouTube is actually a resource object which can be used for interacting with the YouTube API now so this is how you can um, set up your project for starting to interact with the YouTube API so I'm just gonna end this video right here and we're gonna start um, exploring the YouTube data API from the next video so if you still have any doubts you can put them in the comment section below that's it from this video thanks for watching